Welcome back to episode 81 of the Alfie Watton Technology Podcast. This is a podcast series where I give you the inside scoop, the tech news, the expert panels and the insights from the top UK software engineering leaders. If you enjoyed this podcast episode, all I ask is that you go to welovealpha.com the next time that you're looking to hire top UK software developers and we have the people that you need to succeed and scale your team. Thanks very much and enjoy the episode. Okay, cool. Well, Paul, thanks for, for coming back on, on, on the podcast. Um, for those that didn't see your last episode, can you just tell us a little bit more about you and about Matrix Software? Yeah, hi, Alfie. Yeah, I, I'm Paul Graham. I'm a director of UK Engineering with the Matrix Software. We're um, based in the US over in the Bay Area. I run the UK um, engineering office for Matrix. I'm primarily concerned with charging the biggest thing now into 5G and cloud native. Okay, awesome. When you were back on um, a few weeks ago, Elon Musk and T-Mobile had just done a big deal. The chief exec of, of AT&T uh, just came out saying that it's more of a PR stunt and that AT&T are actually miles ahead of, of T-Mobile and Elon Musk when it comes to this sort of thing. It seems like everybody's getting in, in, in this race at the moment. What what do you make of, of all of this? Uh, Alfie, I read the article and it's interesting. Because what it's saying is it's not just a case of putting some satellites up yeah. and then you've got coverage, right? You've got to deal with the regulator and get the use of the uh, approval of Spectrum and from the FEC in, in the US. Yeah. So I think what at and saying, they are ahead of the game because it's not just about putting satellites up, yeah. it's getting approval to use that Spectrum and to better use those services as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Sort of breaking tech news, um, Apple just released their new line of, of iPhones, of Apple Watches yeah. and all of that stuff. And on the iPhone, it has emergency satellite um, connectivity. So you can send a text if you're in an emergency situation. Now, more and more people are getting in trouble because of this, because they're going into a cave somewhere or they're going scuba diving, thinking that um, Tim Cook's going to come and save them if, if they get stuck. What And this is going horribly wrong. People are um, you know, getting into well, pretty dangerous situations. What, what, what do you make of that? This is early technology, isn't it? I mean, the service comes available in November. Would you risk your life on this technology? It's probably one of many things you, if you're going out into the wilderness, yeah. you know, you, you go out with your whatever, your flares, you know, o overnight stuff. You don't want to risk your life on a service that's only come out in November. Yeah. It's something that will help you. It's another thing in the toolbox of um, life saving devices. Yeah. But would you really pin your life on that one thing? at such an early stage of the service. Yeah, I know I probably wouldn't, but uh, some people would. G give it a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. We're at the cloud native meetup right now, and um, a lot of people that come to these events, and, and I watch the podcast as well, are trying to seek um, new tech roles, new opportunities, and a lot of people just starting out their careers. Um, you've obviously been in, in this game for a long time. Um, what, what would be your advice to people kind of trying to find their first role in tech? Maybe they're a graduate, maybe they're looking for something in, in your world, in, in kind of telecoms, but communications, but just in, in terms of tech itself, what, what would yeah. be Doing Find right. something that interests you a bit, get a passion in something, right? Yeah. But definitely, as we heard here, the area is cloud native, right? And you know, if you want something to base your future career on, as James said earlier, go on to Udemy or LinkedIn Learning yeah. uh, and get on those um, cloud architecture courses and skills, right? Yeah. And you'll be invaluable. Okay. What about on the, the flip side with companies, you know, more and more companies looking to hire, find this top talent, what, what should they be doing to attract the right people rather than just any people? Yeah, okay, that, that's a good one, right, because there's a bit of a dearth of chat talent in this area, yeah. how are you going to get them? Um, you've got to be exciting, right, yeah. you know, it's a seller's market, it's all about work-life balance, um, how are you going to appeal to these people? You've got to adopt to the modern times, haven't you? You know, hybrid working, um, interesting, work it, working with interesting teams, exciting technology. I was just saying to, to the organiser beforehand about you know working from home and how um, you know certain companies are, are making people go back into into the office at the moment. Do, do you think if, if companies are starting to do that more and more, it will leave a lot of their existing team a little bit annoyed and maybe not wanting to go back? They kind of got used to working remotely. Yeah, I think people are used to it. Now, right? our, our lives have adapted around working at home. However, you know, once or twice a week, see the team, yeah. build some culture. I mean, culture is important. It builds stickiness right, with employees. Yeah. If people like working with other people, they will stay in the business. Yeah. So I think to keep and retention, actually getting people in and building culture is another important aspect. Yeah. Thank you for watching today's episode. 
Just a reminder to please check out welovealpha.com to hire your next software developer.